All right, welcome back, guys. This is another episode in the series I'm calling Gearcraft. This one is on how I painted my Safari Land 6004 in Rhodesian brushstroke. All right, let's get started. So the first step is to lay out some parchment paper and cover it in masking tape. That way, when we cut into the printout of our camouflage, it'll be transferred over onto the masking tape. So we're gonna cut out five or six of these stencils and then start sticking them onto the holster. So once I stuck on a couple of those stencils, it's time to start spray paint. Okay. So the three different colors of spray paint I'm using here are all from Rustoleum's camouflage line. I'm using their dark green, their dark brown, and a tan. You can find these at pretty much any local hardware store. So we're gonna throw on a few more stencils to give us our green patterns, and then we're gonna move on to the final coat of spray paint. Spray paint and flip flops. let's go. Now we're on to my favorite part. This is pulling off all the masking tape before we move on to the sponge brush. Okay, so the hardest part is the brush stroking. So on my last attempt, I way overdid the part with the sponge brush. So I'm gonna be a bit more conservative on this try. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm spraying a puddle of the spray paint into that box there and then I'm using the corners of my spun brush to draw little lines. So this can be the most difficult part of this whole process being that there's no real flat surfaces on this holster. But if you take your time and you really pay attention and you use the fine edges of your sponge brush, you can get some really distinct, good looking patterns. So we're onto the green now. Trying really hard to just use the corner tip to draw these little lines. So here it is, the final product. The lighting in this room wasn't the best, so the color doesn't come up perfectly, but I think it turned out quite well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and let me know if you end up doing one yourself. Rhodesian brushstroke. All right, so since you're all very good little boys and stuck around at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you little tips on the tiger stripe as well. It's almost the same process, except it's a little easier. You just rip the edges off of this masking tape so you don't have any straight lines, hard edges, and then orient them all in the same direction. Then we just do one coat of green. So we do a coat of green, and then we go back over it with the sponge brush with brown and tan.
get the uh, the same kind of tiger stripe that's on my rifle. It's on my helmet. That's how I've done all of it. Just a very simple method. Thanks for watching the end, and uh, we'll catch you guys in.